Hello students, how are you all? I hope you all are doing great. I am Neha Rajbanshi and I welcome you all in today's class that is English class of class 10th. So students, we have started with our topic that is preposition and till now we have discussed so many prepositions. We have seen their different uses and yes, we have also seen so many examples also and in today's video also we will continue with the same topic. In this video also we will see some more prepositions, their uses and some of the examples. So now let's begin our today's video that is based on prepositions okay so now the next preposition that we are having here in front of us so they are beside and besides so, so students here you have to be very careful regarding the spelling of these two prepositions this is beside and in this preposition we are having besides it means after beside we are having one s also so they are two different prepositions they have their own different uses okay so don't be confused between these two prepositions they are beside and besides so now let's try to understand beside so first of all we are talking about beside so let's see beside means by the side of besides and this second preposition besides it means in addition to or we can say instead of or one more meaning we are having here that is in spite of so now one more time let's see first of all beside so this beside means by the side of like we can say that near okay so this beside actually means near we can say and this besides okay it means in addition to or instead of or we can say in spite of okay so now we are having some of the examples to clear the meaning or we can say to clear the difference between these two prepositions so let's see the child walked beside his mother so in this sentence we are having beside here so like what we are trying to say here we are trying to say that there was one child and he walked near his mother or we can say by the side of his mother okay these are the meanings that we are having here with the use of beside that the child he walked in near his mother or we can say by the side of his mother. So when we are having beside in a sentence then we can have a meaning of near or we can say by the side of clear next we are having besides so let's see the sentence the example that we are having here besides advising her he helped her with money so now here in this sentence we are having besides so what is the meaning or we can say what is the use that we are having here so besides is showing in addition to so what it means it means that he he not only advised her but also he helped her with money it means in addition to you know that he was advising her but he did something extra he did something more and what was that he helped her with money so here we are having besides so students you have to be very careful these are two separate prepositions beside and besides they are having their own uses and you know they are having their own meaning so in this sentence we are having besides and besides means in addition to Next is besides being fine, he was imprisoned. In this sentence also we are having besides and we can have the meaning that you know there was one person we are talking about here. So he was not only being fined but also he was imprisoned. Okay, So actually he did some kind of mistake, some kind of crime because of that he was not only being fined but also he was imprisoned. Clear? Next is Mr. Gupta has a bike besides a car. So again we are having one example here in which we are having besides and the meaning that we can have is that Mr. Gupta he was having not only a bike but also a car. Clear? Put your book beside the rest of the books. So now in this sentence we are having beside. Why? Because we are having the meaning of near or we can say by the side of. So we are giving this kind of instruction to someone to put you know uh, the books beside or we can say near the rest of the books. Okay. So beside it means near and besides it means in addition to. Clear? 
now new uh, prepositions that we are having so now we are having up and down these are very common very you know easy preposition that we all use in our daily conversation so now let's see what do these prepositions mean what are their different uses so first of all we are talking about up so let's see up shows movement towards higher place across the surface so if we are having up in a sentence so with the help of up we can show some kind of movement and that movement will be towards a higher place okay it means from lower place towards a higher place or you know and that movement will be across the surface so we are having the example to clear the thing look an ant is crawling up your arm so uh, here in this example there was one ant and that ant was crawling up you know the arm of one person so you know the ant was having one movement towards the higher side okay so with the help of up we can show the movement towards the higher side from the lower side okay now let's talk about down so let's see down indicates movement but how towards a lower place across the surface of so if we are having down in a sentence so with the help of down we can show the movement but what is the difference the difference is that the down is showing the movement towards the lower place from the upper place okay so this is the basic difference and we are having the example he wept and tears rolled down his cheeks so now we are talking about one person because of some reason that person he wept and because of that tears you know rolled down his cheeks okay so obviously down because your eyes hoti hai tears eyes mein se aate hai aur jo cheeks hote hain wo eyes ke niche hote hain so now we are having the movement towards the lower side from the higher side and this is the reason we are having down here in this sentence clear next up and down so yes this is another use when you know up and down these two preposition they are used together so how movement backwards and forwards so if we are having up and down these two preposition together in a sentence if they are used together in a sentence so at that time you know these words they show movement but how backwards and forwards and that time we cannot to say that you know up and down they show the movement you know from lower side to higher side and from higher side to lower side no if they are used together if they are together in a sentence then they show the movement backwards and forwards so let's see the example he was walking up and down the street so if we are having this uh, you know sentence and this sentence we are having up and down together the sentence is he was walking up and down the street it means you know he was walking backward and forward in the street yes so up and down they are two different prepositions they are having their own uses but they can be used together if we want to have this kind of meaning in the sentence okay moving on now we are having below and under so let's see what is the difference that we are having below and under what are the uses with that we can have with the help of these two prepositions so let's see first of all we are having below below means position lower than okay so if we are having below in a sentence so with the help of below we can show the position the position that is lower than and in this sense we can say that below it is actually the opposite word of for above okay under now let's talk about under so under means position lower than and covered by in the sense of subordination so yes with the help of below also we are showing the position lower than and with the help of under also we are showing the position lower than then what is the difference the difference is that if we are using under then we are showing the position lower than but at the same time we are showing this thing that that thing is covered by it मीन्स यू नो जो चीज नीचे है उसके ऊपर जो चीज है उसने उसको टोटली कवर कर रखा है सो इफ वी आर हैविंग द मीनिंग ऑफ कवरिंग दैट आर टोटल कवरिंग इज देयर देन वी हैव टू यूज अंडर इन द प्लेस ऑफ बिलो ओके सो बिलो एंड अंडर दे आर हैविंग द सेम मीनिंग दे शो द पोजिशन लोअर देन बट इफ वी आर हैविंग द मीनिंग ऑफ कवरिंग ऑल्सो देन वी हैव टू यूज अंडर इन द प्लेस ऑफ बिलो 
clear so let's see some of the example to clear the thing the first example the chin is below the lips so here we are showing the position only and for that we are having below and we are saying that the chin is below the lips right jo chin hai hamari wo lips ke below hoti hai so we are just showing the lower position of chin that is where below the lips next is he was wearing a white shirt under a blue coat so now in this sentence we are having under why because we are showing this thing that uh, there was one person and he was wearing a white shirt and that shirt was completely covered by a blue coat because of shirt ke upar coat pehen lenge so wo jo coat hai wo kya karega that will cover the shirt so here we are having the meaning of covering here we are having this kind of idea to cover up so this is the reason we are having under here in this sentence next is he passed under the hawra bridge in a boat so now in this sentence also we are having under why because there was one person and he passed under the hawra bridge in a boat so suppose this is a bridge okay we all know bridge jo hote hain wo aise bane hote hain river ke upar and now yahan pe ek boat hai okay so boat jo hai wo is side se bridge ko cross karke is side mein ja rahi hai river mein so jab wo yahan se bridge ke niche se niklegi okay so is डिस्टेंस में जब वो होगी तब क्या होगा ब्रिज जो है वो बोट को ऑब्वियसली ऊपर से कवर करेगा सो दिस इज द रीजन दैट वी आर हैविंग द मीनिंग ऑफ कवरिंग अप सो वी आर यूजिंग अंडर हियर इन दिस सेंटेंस सो अगेन आई एम रिपीटिंग दिस थिंग दैट बिलो एंड अंडर दे बोथ शोज द पोजिशन दैट इज लोअर देन बट विद द हेल्प ऑफ अंडर वी कैन शो द फीलिंग ऑफ कवरिंग वी कैन शो दैट समथिंग इज टोटली कवर्ड बाय द अदर थिंग ओके next is write below the line so it's a very common instruction that we all can have write below the line okay so with the help of below we are showing the position that you have to write below the line you have to write you know on this position only next is she hung a picture below the tube light so here we are having uh, this thing that again we are showing the position and we are saying that she hung a picture where below the tube light so there was one tube light on the wall and below the tube light she hung the picture so we are showing the position that picture was having a lower position comparatively to tube light so you know to show the position we are using below here in this sentence clear below shows less than and inferior to so yes below it is having another use also and below with the help of below we can also indicate the meaning of less than or we can say inferior to how let's see the examples his income is below rupees 5000 a month so yes below it is also having this particular use when it, it can indicate the meaning of less than or we can say inferior to so when we are having below in this sentence so with the help of below we are showing this thing that his income is less than rupees 5000 per month okay second example this work is below my dignity okay so again we are having the meaning of less than and inferior to and we are saying that i cannot do this work because my dignity is above this work and this work is below my dignity so here we can see this thing also that yes below it is the opposite word of above clear i hope all the examples that we have discussed everything is clear now moving on we are having another preposition so now since and for so yes we have discussed these words all earlier also when we were having the tenses because these two words we have discussed in tenses topic that how can we use since how can we use for so yes they are also one of the prepositions they are used as prepositions also so let's see what are their uses since denotes a point of time while for denotes a period of time so first of all we are having the difference that is there between since and for so let's see one more time with the help of since we can denote a point of time and with the help of for we can denote a period of time so this is the basic difference okay so if we are talking about one particular time if we are talking about one exact time one point of time then we have to use since but if we are talking about a period of time then we have to use for
okay so now let's see the examples the first one is i am living here since birth so you know our birth that is obviously one exact time one point of time so we are talking about we are indicating that point of time and this is the reason we are having since here in this sentence second one is i have not met her since the last week so again we are talking about one particular time one you know we can say point of time and this is the reason we are having since here in this example in this sentence next he has been ill since friday last so yes friday it's a particular day it's a point of time and we are indicating this point of time and this is the reason we are having since here in this example in this sentence. sentence next mr sharma has been working in this company since 2001 again 2001 it's a particular time it's a point of time and yes we are having since here before this point of time next my younger brother had been watching tv for half an hour so here we are having for why because yes this time is not a particular time this time is not uh, given to us as a point of time but it is the period of time and whenever we are having any period because here we are talking about half an hour or we can say here we are talking about 30 minutes so these 30 minutes they are actually period of time so whenever we are talking about period of time we have to use for and whenever we are talking about one point of time one exact time then yes we have to use for then we have to use since in our sentence okay next is the kids have been playing in the garden for 3 hours so yes here we are having 3 hours so these 3 hours they are also period of time right we are saying that you know 3 hours or we can say 3 days 3 years right so all these things are known as period of time and this is the reason we are having for here before this period of time clear next we are having from and to again they are very common prepositions and we all use this preposition in our daily conversation so let's see what to are the meaning what are the uses that these prepositions for and to they have so let's see uh from used to introduce a uh, the place point or person or a starting point while to leads to final destination or in association so yes here we are having the basic difference that is there between from and to so let's read one more time if we are having from then with the help of from we can uh, indicate or we can introduce a place it can be a point it can be a person or it can be the starting point okay so agar hum from use kar rahe hain then it to uh, uh, indicate the starting point and if we are having to then it shows the final destination so what it means it means that suppose there was one person right and he was traveling so uh, he started his traveling suppose from usa so usa is the starting point of point of his traveling so for that we have to use from and uh, what was his final destination of the journey the final destination is suppose europe so now europe this is the final destination so for that we have to use it to and we can say that he traveled from usa to europe it means he started from usa and the final destination was uh, europe clear so if we are having from then we can show the uh, you know starting point of something and if we are having to then we can indicate the final destination of a journey so now we are having some examples to clear these things in a very perfect manner the first one is my cousin is coming from delhi to jaipur so in this example we are saying that my cousin is coming from delhi it means he is right now he is in delhi and he is starting his journey from delhi so delhi is the starting point of his journey and he is coming to jaipur it means jaipur is the final destination of his journey so yes he is starting his journey from delhi and he will reach to jaipur okay next is he began learning sanskrit from the age of 5 so here we are saying that you know the beginning of uh, learning sanskrit it happened at the age of 5 so at the, the age of 5 it was the starting point of this thing when he started learning sanskrit right so this is the starting point and this is the reason we are having from here in this sentence 
नेक्स्ट इज वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अनादर प्रोजेक्ट फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट ऑफ जनवरी सो अगेन वी आर सेइंग दैट यू नो दिस डेट वी आर हैविंग फर्स्ट ऑफ जनवरी एंड दिस विल बी द स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट ऑफ दिस थिंग दैट वी विल स्टार्ट अनादर प्रोजेक्ट सो अगेन वी आर हैविंग स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट ऑफ समथिंग सो वी हैव टू यूज फ्रॉम टू शो द स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट नेक्स्ट इज Present society is changing from day to day. So yes, we can use these prepositions in this manner also. Like present society is changing from day to day. Okay. Moving on. Now we are having with. So let's see. With is a very common preposition, and yes, it is having so many different uses. It can be used in so many different manners. So now let's see. Let's try to understand all the different uses that are associated with this preposition. That is with. So let's see. First of all, it is used to indicate means, or we can say instrument. So whenever we are talking about means, whenever we are talking about instrument, then we have to use a with. Let's see the examples. She cuts an apple with knife. So here we are talking about one girl, and that girl, you know, cuts the apple, and how with the help of a knife. So here in this example, knife is the mean. Knife is the instrument for this work, right? and this is the reason before knife we are having with because knife was used to you know for this task to cut the apple and this is the reason we are having here with before knife next is so no you should always write with a pencil instead of a ball pen again we are having with why because pencil it is the instrument it is the means that is used you know to write so again we are showing means again we are showing instrument for some work and this is the reason we are having with here okay next is don't believe anything unless you see with your own eyes so again in this sentence we are having with why because eyes they are also a kind of instrument they are also a kind of means for what eyes yes they are used you know for this action that we can see so this is the reason we are having with here before eyes because they are the instrument of this action that is to see okay now next we are having another use of with so let's see with it is used to indicate what is filling or we can say what is covering so whenever we are having this kind of sense this kind of meaning you know to fill to cover then we can use with in a sentence and let's see the examples to clear this my farm is covered with snow so there was some kind of snowfall and after snowfall we are saying that the entire farm was covered with snow so here we are having the sense of covering so whenever we are trying to show the sense of covering the sense of filling something then we can use with in a sentence so you know the form it was covered how with a snow next is please fill my glass with a milk so here we are again having the sense of filling because the glass we are saying that fill the glass how with a milk next is fill this bag with sugar again we are having the sense the meaning of filling something so we can use you know with here in this sentence and we can say fill this bag with sugar next is my garden is covered with flowers again we are having the sense of covering so whenever we are trying to show the sense of cover the sense of fill then yes we can use with in a sentence as a preposition next another use of with it is used to indicate manner how let's see do you work with pleasure so here pleasure is a kind of manner okay and we are saying that always do your work happily so you know uh, this is the manner that we are trying to show and this is the reason we are using with here in this sentence next is indian army always fights with courage so again we are trying to show the manner of indian army that they always fight with courage so you know when we try to show the manner then we can use with in a sentence next is children feared with a roar of a lion so again we are trying to show the manner next one you can win this match with ease yes we are saying that very easily you can win the match so yes whenever we are trying to show the manner of something then we can use with in a sentence as a preposition next another use of with 
इट इज यूज टू इंडिकेट अकम्पनीमेंट और वी कैन से रिलेशनशिप सो वैन वी आर ट्राइंग टू शो अकम्पनीमेंट एंड वी आर ट्राइंग टू शो सम काइंड ऑफ रिलेशनशिप देन ऑल्सो वी कैन यूज विद एज अ प्रिपोजिशन हाउ लेट सी द एग्जाम्पल्स यू शुड गो फॉर अ वॉक विथ योर फ्रेंड सो हेयर वी आर हैविंग द कंपनी ऑफ द फ्रेंड वी आर ट्राइंग टू शो द अकम्पनीमेंट ऑफ द फ्रेंड एंड दिस इज द रीजन वी आर हैविंग विथ हेयर इन द सेंटेंस नेक्स्ट आई ऑलवेज live with my parents again in this sentence we are trying to show the accompaniment that i was having the company of my parents and for that we are having with here in this sentence next sandeep takes a decision after discussing with the father so here we are saying that first of all he discussed everything with his father and then only he took any kind of decision okay so when we are trying to show accompaniment when we are trying to show some kind of relationship then yes we can use with in a sentence next uh, use of with it is used to indicate harmony or we can say agreement so let's see the examples i do agree with you so here we are trying to show our agreement with something and this is the reason we are having with here in the sentence next is i am with you in what you say again we are trying to show our agreement okay so i am saying that whatever you say i am with you i am very much you know agree with you okay next is does this dress go with the color of her skin so here we are asking this thing that there is a kind of agreement or not okay so this is the reason when we are trying to show agreement or we can say the harmony then we can use with in a sentence all right next it is used to, to show the meaning of in spite of or we can say not with standing let's see the example with all her faults i still like her so here we are saying that here yes, she is having so many faults but instead of all his faults still i like her okay next in same way or direction as the same time as let's see the examples birds begin to bloom with the spring so here we are trying to show the same time of two different things we are saying that when there is a spring season then only we can say that to birds they started to bloom so these are two different things but they occurred at the same time so when there is a spring season at the same time birds they also started to bloom okay next is a tree gives up its leaves with autumn again we are trying to show two different things and they are that to one there is autumn season and the second thing is that the trees they give up their leaves okay so these two things they actually happen together at the same time right so we are trying to indicate the same time the same direction the same action and this is the reason we are having with here in these examples next is birds moves with the sun so here also we are trying to show the same direction and we are saying that the birds they also moves in the same direction of the sun or we can say with the direction that is followed by the sun so here we are trying to show the same direction or we can say you know the same time so this is the reason we are having with here in all these examples all right next to to indicate care change or position so these are some of the another use of with when it is used so let's see the examples i have no money with me so here we are trying to show that i was having no money with me right so this is the reason that i was not possessed anything we are trying to show the possession so we are using with next is leave the distinct book with the student so again we are trying to show the possession that you know this book it should be in the possession of the student so whenever we are trying to show the possession care or change then we can use with moving on now we are having some fixed expressions or we can say some fixed phrases so when we are having these phrases then they are known as fixed expression why because always with is used to with these words so let's read first of all we are having quarrel with then sympathy with we are having acquainted with 
contended with next is charged with then disgusted with we are having satisfied with and the last one is differ with so they are known as a fixed expression why because always you know with is used along with these words so this is the reason we can say that they are the fixed phrases they are the fixed expressions moving on we are having another new uh, preposition in front of us that is after so let's see it is used to show the time but how it is showing the time that is later than let's see the examples she will take her breakfast after 10 am so here we are saying that she will take her breakfast only after 10 am when it will be 10 am after that time she will have her breakfast so whenever we are trying to show the time that is later than then we can use after in a sentence next is i am going home the day after tomorrow again we are saying that the day that will be there after tomorrow so that day i will go home okay next is it is also used to show continuously that is also without stopping so let's see the examples most people catch the same bus to work day after day so if we are having after in the sentence in the example in this manner then we are actually trying to show the continuity the continuity of something and that too without stopping clear Next use, it is used in a definite sequence. Let's see the examples. T comes after S in alphabetical order. So yes, we all know English alphabet and we know this thing that alphabet T, it comes after S. Okay, so we are trying to show the sequence. We are trying to show the order of something and in this uh, uh, sentence we can use, uh, you know, uh, we can use after in a sentence. Why? Because, because we are trying to show the sequence. We are trying to show the order of something. Next is your turn comes after her. Again, we are trying to show the order and we are having after in a sentence. Okay. Next, in search of something in phrasal verbs, be after and run after. Let's clear this thing with the help of the examples. She always runs after money. So, here we are having after in a sentence. So, we can use in this manner also when we can make a sentence like she always runs after money. Next is, he is now happy after a new job. And next is, my house is after your house. So, yes, it is used in this meaning when we are having, you know, uh, phrasal verbs. So, in this manner, we can use after in a sentence. Now, we are having a new preposition that is across. So, let's see the different uses of across that we are having from one side to the other side of something with clear limits such as an area of land or we can say a road or they can be a river also so students let's try to understand what is the difference between across and along so across it means we are crossing the road okay we are going from this corner to that corner so this is that we are going across from this side to that side we can say from right side to left side so this is is the use of across and uh, we will read uh, you know along also so when we are uh, going in this manner in the same direction in the same line then we use along so let's uh, try to see the examples to clear the thing our college is across the main road it means that on the uh, you know second side on the on the opposite side of the road we are having our college Second is, she walks across the field or there can be road also. So, again, across means to cross the road, to cross the river, we can say to cross the land, okay? Next, moving from one side to other side of something. Let's see the example. This boat will carry you across the river. Same meaning we are having here. Suppose this is a river. We are having a boat here, this side. And we are saying that if you want to go that side, if you want to cross the road, then you can use this boat. And this boat will carry you across the river. It means, you know, then you will be able to cross the river. Okay? Next is 
extending from one side to the other side let's see the examples there is rainbow across the mountain so when we are having this kind of meaning that something is extending okay from one side to the other side then also we can use across like we are having here in this example next is a pantaloon breezes across the river so obviously jo breezes hote hain wo river ke upar is tarah se hote hain across the river next is the library is just across the road clear next use in every part of particular place or country so if we are referring you know uh, of every part of a particular place or we can say particular country then also we can use across in a sentence how let's say the example voting took place successfully across most of our town so here we are having across in a sentence and we are trying to show you know every part of uh, the, this particular area that is our town okay we are having another preposition that is beyond so let's see the uses of beyond beyond shows position and movement and where far away so with the help of beyond we can show the position that is very far away we can show the movement that is going on very far away let's see the examples my village is beyond that hill so here we are trying to show the position of my village and we are saying that my village is very far away it is beyond that hill next is don't go beyond the boundaries okay so in this manner when we are trying to show the position that is very far away we can use it beyond now another use beyond it shows the meaning of later than yes it is also used to show when we are trying to convey the meaning of later than also let's see the examples don't remain out beyond midnight so here we are trying to uh, show the limit okay and we are trying to say that don't remain out beyond midnight this is the last limit right so this is the reason when we are trying to show the meaning of later than then also we can use beyond in a sentence next beyond shows the meaning of except how my uncle has nothing beyond his provident fund so if we are trying to indicate the meaning of except also then we can use beyond like in this example we are trying to show that my uncle he was having nothing the only thing that he was having was provident fund so yes we are trying to say that except his provident fund my uncle he was having nothing okay next preposition so now let's talk about behind and before so let's see behind shows position in or at the rear or back part so first of all let's talk about behind so with the help of behind we can show the position that is where at the back part let's see the examples he is hiding behind the curtain so here we are talking about one person and he was hiding behind the curtain pehle aage curtain thi and behind the curtain he was hiding now let's talk about before so before shows position that is there in front of so let's see the example you can't put the cart before the horse right because aage to kya hota hai horse hota hai aur cart kahan hoti hai piche hoti hai behind hoti hai so obviously you can't put the car before the horse okay next before also shows position in order earlier let's see the example my name comes before yours in the list so if you are talking about the order if you are talking about about the sequence then also we can use before and do then we can show the earlier position the earlier order with the help of a before like in this example we are showing that my name it comes before yours in the list next before shows in presence of let's see the examples she was standing before the police inspector so here we are trying to show the position of in presence of so this is the reason we are having before next is the case was brought before the judge again we are trying to show the position that this case is it was brought you know before the judge and this is the reason we are having before here in this sentence 
नेक्स्ट प्रिपोजिशन वी आर हैविंग हियर दैट इज टिल सो लेट सी टिल इट इज यूज फॉर टाइम हाउ इन अफॉर्मेशन टू कंप्लीट द वर्क बाय डिसाइडेड टाइम सो व्हाट इट मींस इट मींस दैट इफ वी आर हैविंग टिल इन अ सेंटेंस देन वी आर ट्राइंग टू शो द टाइम एंड वी आर हैविंग वन वर्क वन टास्क आल्सो एंड वी आर सेइंग दैट दिस टास्क दिस वर्क इट विल बी पॉजिटिवली कंप्लीटेड बाय द गिवन टाइम सो लेट्स सी द एग्जांपल्स फार्मर्स वर्क इन देयर फील्ड्स till evening so evening it's a kind of time and this is the task that farmers they work in their fields till evening okay next is i shall wait you till you come back again we are having till and what is the time the time is till you come back okay and we are saying that i will wait you next preposition we are having round so let's see it is used to show on all sides of let's see the example there is a fence around the tree so suppose there is a tree and we are saying that you know around the tree there is a fence so when we are having round in a sentence with the help of round we can show all the sides of something next we are having during so let's see during it is used to for a known period of time so again we are having period of time and then we can use during during the summer like we can have during the my holidays during 1947 during the war during his childhood so yes with the help of during we can show a period of time and during it can be used in so many different manner so let's see the examples food was rationed during war so here we are talking about war time we are talking about one period of time and we are saying that during that time this thing was there during that time food it was rationed next is he visited shimla during the summer vacation so again we are talking about this period that is summer vacation and we are saying that he visited shimla during this period that is summer vacation okay next it is used to refer something happens over a period of time or it refers to whole time of event let's see the examples you are not allowed to use your phone during meeting okay so yes when we are talking about something that actually happens over a period of time then also we can use it during in a sentence like we are having here in this example next in the sense of at some unspecified point in time so yes with the help of during we can also show this kind of sense so let's see the example what was that noise i heard during the night so when we are talking about some unspecified point of time then also we can use during in a sentence okay next preposition is against so let's see it is used to show not in favor of let's see the example the finance department is against the extraordinary leave beyond 3 months during probation period so here we are talking about this thing that the finance department is not in uh, in favor of uh, this thing okay so yes whenever we are trying to show not in favor of then we can use against in a sentence like we are having here in this example it is also used in the sense of taking support of yes again it is also used to indicate this kind of meaning that is taking support of let's see the example uh, put a white board against the wall it means suppose we are having one white board okay and we are trying to put it on the floor but you know wo bar bar gir raha hai so we are just trying to take the support of the wall so for that we are having again in the sentence and with the help of against we are trying to show this thing that we We are taking support of the wall. Okay, it is also used to show comparison. Let's see the example. There were fifty murders last year against a hundred this year. So we are trying to show the comparison of this thing, and we are saying that there were fifty murders last year, right? And against a hundred this year, it means this is the comparison that last year there were fifty murders, and there this year there are hundred murders. So this is another use of against that we are having. 
it is used in the sense of prevent and abolish let's see the example this injection is against vitamin c deficiency so yes whenever we are trying to show the sense of prevent something the sense of abolish something then also we can use against in this sentence we are saying and uh, uh, talking about one injection and we are saying that this injection is against vitamin c deficiency okay next preposition we are having off so let's see it is used in the sense of detachment so whenever we are talking about detachment then we can use off let's see the example take this book off the table so you know we are saying that remove this book off the table so in this manner we can use off next is shashi is off duty now it means shashi is not on the duty so there is a kind of detachment okay so we are trying to show the detachment this is the reason we are having off next is on the side nearby this is another use that we can have with the help of off let's say the example Gauri's house is off the main road so in this uh, you know manner we can use off in a sentence it is used in the sense of a removal the same thing that we were having in the detachment let's say the example your name has been cut off the list it means your name has been removed from the list it is used in the sense of abstaining from let's say the example he has been off medication for a month okay so these are the uses that we can have with the help of off in a sentence now let's talk about two words let's see in the sense of in the direction of so if we are having two words in a sentence so with the help of two words we can show in the direction of like we are having here he was going towards the college or we can say he was going in the direction of college okay so yes towards it shows some kind of movement and we can show that this movement was in the direction of next is she went towards office again we are trying to show the movement right and we are saying that she went towards office or we can say she went in the direction of office next in the sense of four let's say the example my brother is kind towards the poor so we are trying to say that my brother is kind to we can say for the poor okay in the sense of a nearly let's say the example it is now towards the night or we can say it is now almost night it is now nearly night so in this manner also to indicate these meanings also we can use towards in a sentence as a preposition now we are having along so let's talk about along let's see the uses of along it is used in the sense of in the same line yes we have talked about this we are having uh, this road or we can say this is a river if uh, we are going from this side to that side then uh, we will use across but if we are moving on the same line on one side only then we will use along so this is across the road this is along the road okay let's the example he was walking along the road so obviously jab hum road pe walk karte hain to hum walk aise to nahi karte hum walk kaise karte hain ek hi side mein ek hi direction mein karte hain so after reading the sentence we can have the meaning ki hame yahan pe along use karna hai ya fir across use karna hai because road pe jab hum walk karenge hum walk kabhi bhi is tarah se nahi karte hain hum only one direction mein one side mein hi walk karte hain next is there were trees along the river again रिवर के बीच में इस तरह से ट्री नहीं होते हैं बल्कि रिवर के साइड लाइन में ट्रीज होते हैं सो वी आर सेइंग दैट दे वर ट्रीज अलोंग द रिवर अलोंग प्लस विथ it is used to indicate the meaning of together so if in a sentence we are having along plus with then we can have the meaning of together let's see the example varsha went to malaysia along with her husband so we are saying that varsha she went to malaysia you know we can say together her husband so we are having along plus with so it is having the meaning of together 
नेक्स्ट वी आर हैविंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ सो लेट सी इट इज यूज टू हैव द सेंस ऑफ बिफोर लेट्स द एग्जांपल्स देयर इज अ ट्री इन फ्रंट ऑफ माय हाउस वी आर सेइंग दैट टू यू नो बिफोर माय माय हाउस देयर वाज अ ट्री सो यस इन फ्रंट ऑफ इट इज हैविंग द मीनिंग ऑफ बिफोर सिमिलरली वी आर हैविंग देयर वाज अ ब्यूटीफुल गार्डन इन फ्रंट ऑफ माय स्कूल अगेन वी आर हैविंग द मीनिंग ऑफ बिफोर सो यस इन दिस मैनर वी कैन यूज इन फ्रंट ऑफ so students uh, we have discussed so many prepositions in this video we have discussed their different uses and we have seen so many examples also i hope all the things that we have discussed everything is clear to you all so just to be with me and see you in the next video thank you